مرحبا Okay, so this session is about the division algorithm, what is called the division algorithm, in which we want to divide one integer by another integer. So remember, we are working in the world of integers, and now the division algorithm is a theorem. So let me state it first and explain it. What is this theorem? Say it says so let n be an integer. So choose any integer whatsoever. And m be a positive integer. Okay, so m could be one or two or three or four and so on. Once we have these two integers, what we want to do is divide uh, n by m. Okay. So we want to divide n by m. What does the theorem say? That choose n and choose a positive m. Then there are unique integers okay q and r q and r so choose any n and choose any positive m then we can find unique integers q and r such that having these two important properties so they are unique subject to these two important properties first that the number r is positive or zero and strictly less than m the second one and second property is that n is equal to q times m plus r okay so let me say what does it mean it means that choose n and choose positive m and then we can start taking steps of length m say here we take q many steps until we get very close to n and what remains is a distance le strictly less than m so here is the picture okay so say we chose m and chose n say this is n this is a positive this is an integer n and this is the starting point zero we take a step of length m and then we take another step of length m we get to 2m and then to 3m until we keep taking steps until we get very close either we reach m or very close to n so this is say qm and what what remains is the distance r and this r should be strictly less than m so r is strictly less than m okay so this is what the division algorithm is telling us this is how we divide n by m by taking steps of length m until we either be uh, until either we reach n and this, in this case r is zero or otherwise the distance remaining to get to n is strictly less than m okay let me tell you what we call these four numbers so n is called the div dividend okay m is called the divisor q is called the quotient okay and r what is remaining to get to n is called the remainder So again, the theorem says choose any integer n and any positive integer m. Then we can find two integers which are unique up to these two properties. The first that we can write n as q times m plus r, where r is strictly less than m and bigger than or equal to zero. Okay. These are the properties of q and r. Okay. Now r the remainder has another notation so r the remainder the remainder remainder r is denoted by n mod m okay so this is what how we denote n mod m so if you were asked to find what is n mod m all what you need to do is to divide n by m using 
the division algorithm and, and then find the remainder and this remainder is what we call n mod n. Let's have examples on this. So we start with say let's divide so example Div use the division algorithm to divide 101 okay by uh, by 11 okay divide 101 by 11 this means okay we need to write 101 as q here an integer times 11 plus a remainder which is less than 11 so notice that it means how many steps of length 11 we can take so suppose we take 9 steps then we get to 99 and what's remaining to 101 is 2 so here the remainder will be 2 and this is the picture so suppose this is a 101 and this is the starting point 0 we take steps of length 11 so we get first to 11 and then to 22 and then to 33 and we keep taking steps until we get to 99 and what will be left so this red distance is 2 so this means take 9 steps each of length 11 and then what remains is 2 units to, to get to 101 so this means that uh, 101 mod 11 is what is the remainder when we divide 101 by 11 and it is equal to 2 this is the remainder and notice that 2 is strictly less than 11 and bigger than or equal to 0 okay now let's take another example let's divide negative 11 by 3 so we need to take steps of length 3 okay until we get to negative 11 plus the remainder remember, remember that the remainder must be 0 or positive so I suggest to take say 4 steps to the left of length 3 then we get to negative 12 then plus 1 and so so 1 need to be bigger than or equal to 0 and strictly less than 3 so this means that negative 11 mod 3 is equal to 1 okay so this is negative 4 is q l uh, 3 is m and 1 is the remainder and this is m so we divide n by m, we get the two, the division algorithm gives us two unique integers, q and r, where r has this property. It's bigger than or equal to zero and strictly less than m. Okay, let's have another example. Okay, let's divide 19 by 5. So now think of taking steps of length 5. So if we take two steps of length 5, we get to 10. But still, we can take one more step of length 5. So take three steps of length 5, we get to 15. And what is left is 4. And since 4 is strictly less than 5, this is the remainder, and the divisor 5m, we stop. And this means that 19 mod 5, the remainder, when we divide 19 by 5, is equal to 4. Okay, and now let's have another example. Let's divide negative 19 by 5. Remember, n, the dividend, can be negative, but we assume that the divisor is always positive. So think how many steps to the left we need to take to get to negative 19, close to negative 19. I say negative 4, so negative 4 times 5 is negative 20, and here we add 1 and see that the remainder is strictly less than 5 and bigger than or equal to 0. So 1 is the remainder and this means that negative 19 mod 5 is equal to 1. Okay, let's have another example. Okay, maybe let's divide say 
20 by 5 this means that uh, okay how many steps of length 5 we can take to get close to 24 4 times 5 is 20 and so the remainder is 0 and see, see that 0 is bigger than or equal to 0 and strictly bigger than 5 this means that 20 mod 5 so what is 20 mod 5 it's the remainder after dividing 20 by 5 and this is 0 this is the remainder okay so I hope you can use this example to prove the following that m divides n if and only if n mod m is 0 right because look what does it mean that n mod m divides uh, sorry n mod m so look n mod m is 0 if and only if after dividing n by m we get two unique integers q and r okay such that n is equal to qm plus r but r is the remainder and we know from here that the remainder is 0 okay so this means that n is equal to qm plus 0 which means that n is equal to q times m because qm plus 0 is qm and since m is equal to an integer times m then this means that m divides n remember that m divides n if we can find an integer here it's q such that q times m is equal to n okay so so when the when the remainder is zero this means that m divides n okay finally let's take a, a final example which is say let's divide negative 19 by 3 so let's see how can we get to close to negative 19 we can say take uh, multiply this by negative 6 but negative 18 plus uh, the remainder will not be non-negative here so I'll suggest to multiply it by negative 6 a uh, negative 7 then this will be negative 21 and then we can add 2 to get to negative 90 and here see that 2 satisfies the property of a remainder that it's bigger than or equal to 0 and strictly less than the divisor 3 and this means that negative 19 mod 3 so when we divide negative 19 by 3 we get a remainder of 2 so this is equal to 2 okay, stop here